Hi, I'm Allison Stewart with EcoBiz. Small profiles of people making big ecological advances in the business world. They say necessity is the mother of invention, and that couldn't be more true than it is for the couple you're about to meet. They were farming and losing money till they found a surprising eco-friendly crop. Now their business is going through the roof, literally. Ed Snodgrass comes from a long line of farmers. I grew up here just a half a mile up the road and uh, did traditional farming with my dad, kind of corn, soybeans, dairy cows. But Ed says traditional commodity farming nearly put him and his wife Lucy in the poorhouse. I had to stop farming the farm traditionally and go work off the farm to pay down the debt. That was in the 1980s. Ironically, it was one of Ed's off-the-farm jobs that led him back to farming 14 years later. While working at a nursery, Ed says he started questioning traditional farming reliance on chemicals and pesticides. I was looking for an operation that went away from that paradigm and into more working with nature. At the same time, Ed says the idea of green roofs caught his attention. Green roofs are roofs that are covered by no maintenance plants. They help cool urban environments, help insulate rooftops and slow stormwater runoff. A green roof for our market uh, is grown on top of buildings in very, very thin, mostly mineral media. And I think that it's an entire engineered system. It's not really an ecosystem, it's an engineered system. While attending a green roof conference, Ed says he realized this was his ticket back into farming. There were really no nurserymen there. They were all roofers and architects and engineers. And that kind of dawned on me that, well, if there's no nurserymen here, they're it's not a green roof without the green. Someone has to do the green. So in 1998, Ed and Lucy turned their farm into a nursery. I have had a strong interest also in the environment and in just in progressive public policy. And so uh, when Ed wanted to come back to the farm and really make a go of it in some kind of sustainable way, that seemed something very interesting and something I really wanted to support. Today, their Emory Knoll Farm is the only nursery in the country that grows plants exclusively for the green roof market. We have a few uh, amenities up here. One is a solar electric array. Thanks to the engineering skills of partner John Shepley, Emory Knoll Farms aims to eventually become entirely carbon neutral, using only solar and biodiesel for their power needs. It feels good to, to, to make money, to have a nice product, to work with interesting people, to kind of, you know, all the things that, from a lifestyle point of view, you want to do, I think we're doing. I mean, it's, it's a pretty sweet area to be in. I'm Allison Stewart for EcoBiz. For more information, just visit our website at sundancechannel.com slash ecobiz. What can you do? Visit sundancechannel.com slash ecobiz.